Now that you had a brief introduction to classification trees, let's move on to the modeling. In this section, we'll keep talking about the restaurant data sets, and we'll work on how to create a classification tree to make decisions. So far, you use the whole data set to train your model, but this will most likely lead to a result that is too optimistic. One alternative is to split the data into two pieces. The first part of the data, the so-called training set, can be used for building the model. And the second part of the data, the test set, can be used to test the results. One common way of doing this is to use 80% of the data for a training set and 20% of the data for the test set. Of course, that can be a lot of variation depending which 80% of the data you select for training sets. One way to reduce this variation is by using cross-validation. We'll talk about that later in the course, but right now, let's learn how to do a train-test split in the R using the restaurant data set. The first thing you need to do is to get the number of rows in the whole data set. You can do this by using the end row function. Next, we'll define how many rows you'll be using for the training set. In this case, you'll be using 80%. Then, we'll create a vector of indices, which is a 80% random sample. Since we are using a random sample, to ensure we have reproducible results, it is important to set a seed. Finally, you subset the data to training indices only, and you exclude the training indices to create the test set. Now that you have the training and the testing set, let's train a classification tree. To train a classification tree in R, you must specify the formula, the data, and the method. The basic format of formulas in R is response variables, tilt predictor variables. The tilt is read as is model as a function of. The dot symbol means all other variables in the data. So here you can read will weight is modeled as a function of all other variables in the data. The data will be our training set and the method will be class since we are dealing with a binary response. Now it's your turn to practice, but this time we use the German credits data set to train a classification tree model to predict loan default.